What's going on there, Throttle Lockers? Welcome to another one of my videos. Before I get and talk about what I want to talk about today, if you like my videos, hit that thumbs up, man. If you want to see more, you got to make sure you hit that subscribe down below. But make sure that you ring the little guardian bell to protect you from all the videos that you're going to be missing out on. So today I am going to be talking about some of the things that I've been doing lately because I haven't been putting up a lot of videos if you've noticed, but I've had a lot of other stuff going on at the same time. Not only have I been working on my room, trying to get that ready for the tire business kind of side deal, you know, but I've also been working on getting me a sponsor, which I finally got one and they ended up coming back to me after I talked to them about it and they made me a drink and said, okay, try this out we'll see what you think and if you like it it will become your drink to have uh from our store and i was like all right cool and it's called the throttle locker and it's really really good stuff i will have more details on it later on because if you guys are interested in it you can either stop at the store here in kingfisher oklahoma at the black gold store nutrition and pick you up a throttle locker or if you are at home and you would like to try this drink I will get you all the details that you need to go ahead and go online and order it. And you can order it straight from me from 12 Gauge Nutrition. We'll get in more details on that on a later video. But right now, there is some other news I've got. So my wife had done something that I had no clue about, you know. And uh, she went behind my back a little bit and I was kind of happy about it because it turned out really, really well. She ended up getting me some promotional stickers for this channel like holy crap this is awesome they're not decals they're stickers but they are good for indoor and outdoor uses and they are tremendous they're great for starting out and all and if you guys would like one let me know but this is what they look like they are these little a b little stickers here say throttle locker on them you know if you guys ride you're a throttle locker right and if you would like to become part of the throttle locker team Stay tuned because I will have information on how you could purchase these pretty soon. I love the stickers. They're really cool. They're really awesome. They, they fit me perfectly. I absolutely love them. They're based off of my tattoo and they also have the slogan I call you guys, which is throttle lockers. And if you are wanting one of these, man, just let me know and I will try to get you some information on how you could purchase these. So stay tuned for that one. But today we are going to talk about the bike of my dreams is going to be about the bike that I, I would always want. Like my dream bike. I've got to say, I love bikes, all right? I love them through and through. Don't matter what kind of bike it is, as long as I'm on two wheels, I'm happy, all right? But I know this is going to sound cliched and all that, but I do have a dream bike. A lot of you guys are probably going to be like, oh, really, a Harley? Yes, all right. Harley Davidson's were the ones that got me into motorcycles. It was the first bike that I really saw that I was like, holy crap, I would love to have one. And then I found the dream bike that I had been wanting ever since I saw it after I got into motorcycles. And of course, it is along the lines with everybody or a lot of other guys out there. And it is the knuckleheads, man. I love the knuckleheads. Uh, I honestly don't care what year from 39 to 47. It don't matter because knucklehead is a beautiful bike. Uh, each version that came out with them, which they're all about the same, but they made slight modifications on, on a few of them. So there are actually uh, some that you got to look for if you're being very particular. But me, as long as it is an original uh, knucklehead motor on a knucklehead frame, I'm happy with that. And I would love to get one one day, but finances suck. <laughs> I wasn't born with a silver spoon. We can put it that way that that's definitely one that i would like like to have i'd love to have that i mean don't get me wrong there's a lot of them out there that i would love to have uh of course a pan head i'd love to have a pan head or just even getting into the newer style bikes like uh 
I, I would love to have a gold wing. Why? Because they're they're comfortable. They're great for long distance trips. And if I was had the money, I'd go with the Harley Road Glide. The, it's about the same principles. Not all the bells and whistles, but still long trip bike. I've gotten a test ride one and uh, just down the road and all, but it was it was so comfortable. It was wow. It was like riding on a cloud. It was it was really good. I liked it. And no, I'm not getting promoted to, or sponsored by Harley Davidson to say any of this stuff. It is just my opinion of how I feel about bikes in general. So yes, my dream bike ultimately would be a knucklehead, an original knucklehead, which there are some out there, but they are very, very pricey. But then yes, of course, all the newer bikes out now, they got all the modern technology and they're nice and everything, but some, some of them I'm just like, you know, you really don't need all that extra crap on a bike just to enjoy it. I mean, really, the whole point about a bike is getting on it and go. I mean, I already catch slack from guys because I have a radio on mine. And, oh, you're not. You don't really ride if you ride with a radio because you're not listening to the sound of the pipes. I, mean, I, I like to jam out to music. That's what helps me zone out. Now, I don't mind riding a bike without a stereo system because either way, I still zone out, have a good time, have a great ride. So, uh, if radio or not, I'm going to... I'm gonna have fun riding, so I'm gonna enjoy it and make the most of it as best as I can. But yes, if I won the lottery, you bet your sweet ass I'd be one of the first purchases that I would get is a knucklehead original. I don't care if I have to spend an arm and a leg, because hell, I won the lottery. If it's an arm and a leg of winnings, then I'm gonna spend an arm and a leg of spending, and it's gonna be on something that I really, really want. Now, I do have my V-Star. I love my V-Star. It's, it's just so great, and I'm happy that my wife is planning on taking that over to start riding it. We're going to get her on there to start getting her more practice. In my last video, you guys have seen that I was riding the V-Star, and you're probably wondering why. Well, what about the Harley that you were talking about? Well, I have the Harley. It's it's here. It's just we're going through some de uh, minor details of the title and all that kind of situation. So once we get that taken care of, the bike will be for me to buy, really which uh, figured out my finances, I'm able to take care of it, so it's not a big deal. It's just we gotta get that title thing taken care of so I can actually get it out on the road. Because right now, with it not, with having the title issues, I'm not gonna take it out, just, just to be safe. You know, rather be safe than sorry. So I'm hoping that we can get this taken care of pretty soon so I can get out on that bike because it is so much fun to ride. But yes, I do like my V-Star, I do like my Harleys. Uh, I mean, I've had all different kinds of bikes and they've been great, but at the same time, I got to make sure that everything is up to date, legal, and uh, in good running condition. So I've been going over the Harley and the V-Star last few days, making sure everything's all tinkered up on them just right. But pretty soon we are going to be going out on a ride, probably getting the whole family together. Uh, me and my wife, my two kids and cousins and all, maybe some few friends. And we're going to go out for a ride. We're probably going to go down to Mount Scott and the way things are looking, it, it might be a great possibility that we are going to be doing that pretty soon. Till then, we are going to just keep doing what we got to do, get everything settled around here, and try our best to plan out some more rides that we need to be doing. I mean, this is a moto vlog, not an indoor vlog. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yes, I do plan on getting out and riding more and doing some more stuff uh, here in the near future. Here lately, we've just been busy with all this other stuff, but like I said, got my new promotional decals in. If you guys want to become a throttle locker, you have to leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys are interested in having one of these. Really, these are pretty uh, pretty nifty. I like them, and they, they do come in uh, different sizes. Right now, I only got one big one to... Well, I got two big ones. Of, one of them's on the V-Star already, and then this one I'm going to put on the Harley later on, but... We'll see about getting some bigger ones later on, but we'll have to figure out what the price is on those. But I have a, a price on these, but I still got to figure I got to create PayPal so you guys can be able to buy them from me. But yeah, if you guys want a sticker, leave a comment down below. And right now, I've only got nine. So once those nine are gone, then I can order some more. We can get some more for you guys out there that are wanting one. So the first nine that pays for them, we'll get one. <laughs> but guys, if you have any future ideas for that you would like for me to do that is in the legal limit and that is attainable, <laughs> you 
leave a comment down below. Let me know, because I I'm kind of at a loss of what I think I should do. Not really, but I mean, I'd like to hear. I'd like to have y'all's input. I'd like for you guys to be a part of this channel and feel like you have something to do with it. You know. So leave a comment down below of a suggestion that you think I should do or talk about. I am all for it. I'm gonna get out of here though because I gotta get some stuff done around here and I'm burning daylight. So you guys always remember, keep those throttles locked, those tires hot, but never ever forget, keep that rubber down. I will catch y'all next time.